the Raycom News Network, Alabama's news source. 137 years ago, an incident at the Pickens County Courthouse became legendary in Alabama. The story, the face in the courthouse window, was reintroduced to the public in the book 13 Alabama Ghosts. Well, this weekend, the dramatic retelling is presented in the spot where it all happened. And as Fred Hunter tells us, it's a story which remains absolutely Alabama. <laughs> Leg. <laughs> it hurts bad. Well, doctor's coming. Yeah, this whiskey will just have to make do till he gets here anyway. The talent out here is tremendous. It's just untapped potential, I believe. So it doesn't surprise me what we're able to do uh, as far as uh, through the magic of theater. Uh, this area is filled with talented people. It's, it's Alabama's best kept, kept secret, I guess. The story of the face in the courthouse window. Nothing but a spooky old legend, right? No. There's a true story here. Henry Wells and a couple of his uh, buddies uh, that are portrayed in the, in the play, uh, they tried to rob the courthouse, and when they were unsuccessful, they decided to burn it. Listen, Henry, you're going to go before a white judge and a white jury, and they're going to find you guilty. My character is one that is a great believer in the law. And uh, regardless of race, uh, whether it's a, a black man or a white man, he, he wants to treat everybody equally under the law. I primarily played preachers and sheriffs in my life uh, as far as my uh, theatrical career is concerned. So I think they felt comfortable me playing another sheriff. What some players lack in experience, they make up for in authenticity. Brad Hill's day job is with the Forestry Commission. Hey, they asked me to be a part of the play because my I am portraying my great great grandfather. This was the bag we were actually able to use in the play that it means a lot to me knowing that this was a, a great great grandfather's personal doctor's physician bag, which my grandfather carried one much like it even in his day uh, up until around 2002 uh, when he retired. And for the audience, a night of entertainment taken from events which happened here nearly 137 years ago. People stop and they, they stand outside for several minutes waiting on an autograph. And I'm like, I'm just Willie from Tuscaloosa. I'm not famous or anything, but they are really touched. And some say you can still feel the presence of Henry Wells in the old courthouse. Because I decided to have a limited relationship with Henry. I hope and pray that I'm doing his story justice, but um, I don't want to meet him up close and personal. <laughs> the story is part of the fabric of our state. The production is a legend come to life. And the face in the courthouse window is absolutely Alabama. In Carrollton, I'm Fred Hunter. Well, there's a performance tonight at 7. Two more shows tomorrow at 2 and 7 p.m. For more information, go to courthousewindow.com. Nakalula Falls.